Um, speaking of a company that I think is too close to the Labor Party, Qantas has been in the news lately, and I've got to say, none of it is good. It's got refund problems, phantom flight bookings, hoarding airport slots. This company is a shambles, and now their CEO gets a $10 million bonus. I've got to say, Jared, it's hard to know why it was privatised because it's now so closely protected and propped up by the government. But I reckon that protection racket is costing us with enormously with the irrational decision not to allow Qatar to have more flights, keeping airfares higher than they should be. We need an inquiry into what's going on here, I reckon. What do you think? Yeah, look, Corey, you're right. I mean, I'm not a fan of privatisation of infrastructure, but I, I was never against the privatisation of Qantas and Telstra because they're retail, fast-moving retail industries and they're, they're not meant to be monopolies. Uh, and I think a good example of where Qantas has been protected was the blocking of letting uh, Qatar Airlines uh, come in and out of Australia. That certainly would have provided a little bit more competition to Qantas. Mind you, however, though, Alan Joyce has been absolutely milking this company dry for his own uh, benefit. For him to get a $10 million bonus in light of the handouts that Qantas got throughout the COVID crisis, uh, I just think is arrogance writ large. Now, what's interesting about this, you'd think Al Anthony Albanese, if he could read the mood of the Australian people, would be a running a mile from hanging out with Alan Qantas. Uh, sorry, Alan Joyce, sorry. But he seems to be hanging out with him all the time. And it just goes to show, I think, how out of touch Anthony Albanese is, the, is the fact that he can't even see how arrogant and how out of touch Alan Joyce is. And we've seen this in the fact that Alan Joyce has given Anthony Albanese's son uh, membership at the Qantas Lounge. Uh, that in itself just reeks of arrogance. The other thing that Qantas needs to be called out on is that they wouldn't refund that $500 million uh, of uh, cancelled bookings throughout COVID. Now, they've had to back down on that due to embarrassment. But yet again, this is a company that's out of touch. It's not interested in serving the people. It seems to be more interested in pushing its ideological agenda, not the least the voice, uh, and as well as that uh, Alan Joyce's own back pocket. Yeah, I certainly, it has enriched him. But I've got to tell you, the fact that they've been taking bookings for flights that they always intended to cancel, which is the ACCC going after them, merits a massive penalty as far as I'm concerned. That is, that is you know, effectively deceptive and misleading uh, uh, marketing as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. We'll see where it leads. <laughs>